Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's SQL tutorial, I'll talk about SQL eLeaf mobile apps. Now, before we go into the apps, let's go to SQL Payroll. In SQL Payroll, you can see that there's a new function called Cloud over here, and it's called Sync Cloud. Now, this is where it will sync to SQL eLeaf apps. But before that, if you can't find this uh, functions, meaning that you are not 142 version 142 make sure you already version 142 and above now second things is is a additional module meaning that you need to purchase this module in um, if you want to use these functions to set up the basic setting for it now what you need to do is in maintain employee let's say we look for an employee called Zell. okay there are two things you must take note is first thing is Let's say this employee is a manager or a person that need to approve the leave applications, then you need to take this manager. Okay, let's say he's just a, a normal employee. So what you need to do is this part is unticked. And there's two things also very important. The first thing is, please make sure there is an email inside over here. So there's an email. Okay, then of course, phone number, date of birth, and others information is pretty important also. But this is normally already inside your SQL payroll because I'm sure that maybe this is not your first day using SQL payroll. So SQL eLeaf Mobile is just an additional module that you add on. Okay, so now uh, someone asked me, can you use the eLeaf module alone without SQL payroll? The answer is cannot. You must have the SQL payroll system first. Okay, so this is the basic setting whether this manager position is tick or untick, or and also the email must set up. Now, after that, let's look at the eLeaf apps. Now, currently, SQL eLeaf only support Android versions iOS will be ready very soon. So what you need to do is go to Google Play Store, go in and look for SQL eLeaf. And you can see the SQL eLeaf icon is look like this. Click on it and click install. Wait for it, in, finish install, then you'll get the apps. It's a free apps. You just need the module separately. So just wait for the icon to appear. When it appears, click on it. And log in using your email that you set inside SQL Payroll system. Can you type your email? Click next and it will request an OTP code where the system will actually send you an email with the OTP code. So you just need to retrieve the OTP code from your email example, then go back and key in the OTP code. Then verify and you are able to log in. Allow, allow. Here is your SQL eLeaf module. This will show your company and you just need to click on employee view. After clicking employee view, this is all the function available, leave info and also payroll info. Example, click on the payroll info, view past payroll you can actually see the past payroll information for previous year or previous month. Go back. You can click on the wages info if you want to know the details. So this is the summary. Then you can click on wages or allowance, OT or others information that is available. So to apply leave, simply click on take a leave. Then 
choose the leave type and put in the start date and also the end date. We put 28th of January example. End date also the same. Then put in the description for it. After put in description, then we just click on the take. And to do the submission successful, we click continue. Then no, because we don't want to take another leave and this will send to your manager as a pending case also. And you can see the pending now increased by one. If you are a manager that you already set inside SQL payroll system, then you can have the manager view. But if you want to know who is the manager in charge for you, then you click on manager in charge press. So go in, you can view who is the manager or the approver for you and what is his or her position. Let's go back to the main screen and you can notice that on the top right corner there is a bell icon that is your activity log or your notifications. This is where all the previous activities, whether it's pending, approved or reject, will be listed out over here. Let's go back. Let's go back to manager view and you can view all the pending cases then you can click into it to approve or reject them. So go in and you can see there's two applications. Click on it. Then you can click on the approve. Just put in a remarks. Then click OK and approve it. And for another one, click in. Then let's try reject. Also put in a remarks for it. Then click OK. Then this is how you approve and reject a applications. So over here, it will list out the summary of all the approved applications and over here is all the reject information. To check the leave balance, go back, then click here and we can see that it will list out all the leave balance of individual staff accordingly. Now we can go into the leave application report to build all the previous leave and the result of our leave applications and over here also we can view the status for individual staff and also their leave balance after everything is done in sql e-leave apps then you need to go back to sql payroll system Go to Cloud, Sync Cloud, and click Sync Now. All the information from your eLib module will be synced back to SQL Payroll. And also, the SQL information from SQL Payroll will also sync accordingly both ways. So, if you are interested in SQL Payroll system or SQL eLib or even SQL accounting system, you are free to contact me directly or if you want to just sign up maintenance or support maintenance for SQL Payroll or SQL Accounting, please feel free to contact me directly. And once again, thank you for watching. I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.